Hey everyone, happy to see you. How you all doing? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for your comments and feedback. It has been great. And today I would like to continue talking about certain fears or concerns that Russian and Ukrainian ladies have and you might not know about. And I hope that it will help your current or future relationships. So when we were growing up in Soviet Union um, and later on, there were not so many great examples of marriage around for some reason. And even those who were that were good examples, very often the romance part, you know, after you get married and having kids, very often that part would be significantly going down. So that leads us right to the point of fear. A lot of ladies are afraid that once they get married with you, once you get used to them, and especially once you have children, uh, your interest will kind of go down, you will take them for granted, and um, in a worst case, um, you will maybe ignore them and forget about their birthdays and holidays and you know all those beautiful romantic thing and maybe even um you know not be faithful unfortunately you know in our country this happens a lot we have shortage of men uh not only shortage of men but also um, Something that has been forming for years, just cultural things, and they are not often to our advantage. In a way, um, everything that had happened uh, through the years, you know, with different wars and all the struggle, um, somehow put men into that advantage where they kind of in a privileged position in a way but modern uh, girls also want to be appreciated they do not want to live with somebody just uh for the society for the social you know to be a good you know person with a social proof a lot of ladies are kind of stepping up to their to their i wouldn't even say rights but to this true selves and realize hey we deserve better and if they cannot find a person there they are looking and considering meeting some someone abroad and so one of the things i believe not covered enough is that with western men it's a little bit different what i've noticed is that western men can be a little bit um kind of holding back when they date meet when they're in a relationship, they sometimes not fully invested. Sometimes they aren't uh, overly generous. And that came up in my um, session with a wonderful, as usually, wonderful man that uh, I had as a client. And I thought it's really worth to be addressed. So when the ladies think, see you, you know, not being too generous you know not showering her you know with flowers and gifts you're uh, holding back uh, somewhat maybe emotionally as well she's she is thinking this oh my god if on the first stage of our relationship he isn't going wild <laughs> you know he isn't going crazy he doesn't move the mountains he doesn't you know, do this crazy romantic things and he doesn't buy me uh, maybe some gifts that I, I love. He's not like overly generous. What's going to happen when we get married? He won't do anything at all. Because in our culture, that's what often happens. At the first stage of dating, the guy shows the best part of himself. And then after marriage, usually the romance and everything dies. Not for everybody, but that's often the case. And with you guys, with Western men, it's the other way around. You're holding back. 
on many things but once you know that this woman is yours you are relaxed you um feeling more confident that it's not a scam or something like that and then you actually invest in your woman in all the ways and i'm really impressed how dedicated like an average american man i would say especially i live in midwest so i will talk about this area is is an average guy is invested in his home in his wife i mean it's just amazing and a lot of women you know i'm talking about like local marriages they are far away of beauty queens they are far away of being um i don't know um anything that we think is impo important for women and their husbands are are just incredible so coming to the point of fear you guys need to give a little bit of a perspective to a lady how your life will look and how you see yourself you know what you would love to do for romance and how you think that uh if both people are investing in 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 that part of life and if you both really enjoy that how you can contribute to keep this beautiful time because usually when you meet it's always beautiful but talking with her about that and telling her that you enjoy it and you want to have it and and uh you know you are a guy you also have your fears you do have a fear that hey you know maybe she wants something else but once we establish that trust we invest in each other more and more and i would say that you know with ladies it's uh, the same uh, sometimes we also afraid to give so much of our soul uh, because we have been uh heard before you know a lot of ladies you will meet in their like later 20s and 30s and 40s who already invested in the guy and been a wonderful friend and um, been caring and the person still did not appreciate it so you know and our time is is just as valuable especially if we want to have you know family and children and so sometimes you know women a little bit holding back in the communication uh, they do have those concerns inside of them and really it's hard to imagine how you live your life you know if you come to visit you know you see their lifestyle but there is no way for them to see your lifestyle and what really life would look like so maybe that's something to add when you see that uh, relationship is 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 mutual and there is interest and you know a uh, mutual connection and you feel that maybe that that person that you would love to be with there is no question that you you should be shy about uh, it's better to talk before you commit of course and you know i've learned a lot from my session yesterday uh at I would say that it's just as hard, you know, on the guys um, as on the girls. I used to think that, oh, you know, guys, they, you know, they tough skin. They don't worry about those things. I think in a way it's harder because they keep everything inside. And I've learned, I'm learning a lot from my personal sessions like that. And I really appreciate your trust. Um as those of you guys who you know talk with me in person and share very personal things and making these videos for you i feel like i can reach out to more people if you have a similar situation you know or similar uh, issue you know you can get an idea because hey if the general idea help you that's great i'm happy to to help so of course you are probably not gonna start talking about you know marriage and kids and how romantic your life going to be on the first date but later on you know when you are a couple weeks couple months um writing letters or you see each other in person do whatever you can to give you a real good uh, perspective on what kind of life she's going to have with you uh ask her what she loves like what you know what's your thing you know that thing about uh coffee or breakfast in bed just try to see you know what she really enjoys and and 
open up a little bit. I know it's hard for you guys, but open up a little bit. Uh, I, through my private sessions, I'm meeting so many men who are deeply romantic. And that really warms my heart, because that's exactly the kind of man in my mind, when I make videos for you, I'm talking to. So don't be... Um, don't hold back for too long. Try to establish closer contact and uh, you can share your vulnerabilities. And at the same time, show that beautiful dream life that you would like to have with her. And, you know, and show that you can make it true. You know, a lot of people would discourage you, you know, if you would share with them. You probably uh, should not, maybe, um, should consider that people who are around you are not the right people very often to talk about these things because they would discourage you and, t and tell you that this dream does not exist. But she is the one that needs to hear it. That, you know, you want to have that dream, you want to build the dream and having love and romance for many many more years to come that's that's what you're looking for maybe you had a great example with your parents maybe your parents were married for 50 years bring that up and talk about beautiful moments that you always dream to have with your partner so that will help you and that will help her that will help her to see a little bit uh, better vision to um it will help to, you know, that fear, you know, to fade <laughs> about the, you know, death of romance with marriage. And it's always fun to talk about, you know, about future and the things that you can be doing. So I really hope that that is helpful. Welcome to my new Facebook page. I made it specifically for us to talk about relationships and mentality and all those things and um, I am coming back very soon. Thank you.